Hey guys, it's Castro72, and I'm here with my May 2013 pickups. Um, so let's just get started. I got some stuff uh, from several different places. I uh, got some stuff from Amazon.com. I got one game actually from Amazon.com, and it's a current gen thing. Um, it's called Under Defeat for the PlayStation 3. I got this for $19.99. It's still sealed. I haven't had a chance uh, to open it. But it plays like an old arcade shooter, like um, Twin Cobra. Actually, it's a helicopter kind of thing. Um, I learned about it, I forgot, from YouTube. I guess it was uh, a Japanese release that uh, was actually playable on our consoles without any kind of modification. But I guess. This, um, this company called Rising Star Games decided to actually just bring it out domestically. So I picked it up. I heard it was good. Um, I can't wait to play that. So Under Defeat HD Deluxe Edition, I guess. It has all the patches or, uh, I don't know, current downloads. Everything is, cl uh, is on that one. And um, next I got some stuff from Half Price Books. I got Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, the Tengen version. Uh, for the NES. I do own the Mindscape version, but I never had this version, uh, the Tengen version. It's a rarity too, valued at $3. I ended up getting it for $4.99, and I decided to get it anyway because um, even though it's like, I, I, you know, I it was a little overpriced, just because like NES games are really getting hard to find in my area, and I was happy to add this to my collection. Um, next, I got uh, the Incredible Hulk for the SNES. Now the Incredible Hulk is a rarity one valued at three dollars so it's common and I got it at four ninety nine at half price books. Um, again I really haven't run into this. I don't know why it's a rarity one uh, but again uh, SNES games are kind of getting rare in my area too so I was lucky to run into it so I paid the four ninety nine. Next I found something at the Unique Thrift Store. I found Wizardry 5 Heart of the Maelstorm um, it's this game right here for the SNES, Rarity 2, uh, valued at $15, and I got this for $1.99. Um, the thing is with this game, it was kind of like a, I guess a rental game, so it's got all these stickers on it, but I was happy to get it for $1.99. Um, I could probably peel these off, but I'll probably just leave it the way it is. Next, I found some stuff at the Brown Elephant. I got some N64 games. I got... NBA Live 2000, which is a rarity 2, valued at $5. I got this for a buck. I got NHL 99, which is a rarity 2, valued at $4. And I got this for a buck as well. Sports games. And uh, Wildlife Country Club True Golf Classics, rarity 3, valued at $7. I got this for a buck. Probably the best of all the sports games. Next, um, I got some stuff from my co-worker's dad, my, my friend Juwanza. He, he has a dad that, I guess, collected video games, just like I do. And he's, like, around my age, and um, his dad is around my age, actually. And so, like, I guess we grew up with the same kind of stuff. I had an Atari, uh, and he had an Odyssey system. So he gave me a whole bunch of Odyssey stuff. And a couple Nintendo 64 items as well, which I'll also get to. And he gave me the whole shebang for 8 bucks. So everything I'm about to tell you right now, I got for $8. I got two memory cards uh, for the N64. Uh, I, oops. Uh, they're the performance version memory cards. Uh, he gave me those. And he also gave me the um, Interact Turbo RAM expansion. So it's the Interact version of the, you know, the expansion pack, or, exp or the memory RAM um, by Interact for the N64. Plus, he gave me all of this Odyssey stuff. Um, it's the Odyssey console. I'll show it to you right here. It, it has, like, these hardwired uh, controllers. And he gave me an aftermarket power adapter, which I think was actually for a phone. But um, I haven't tried it yet. I might have to actually try to find the original um, a, a power adapter at a, at a game store. But the Odyssey 2 console with the hardwired controllers is a Rarity 3 valued at $15. And of course that was all in the $8 package. And he gave me all these games. Uh, I got bowling basket and basketball. Rarity 1 uh, valued at $2. 
I got Speedway Spinout and Crypto Logic, Rarity One, valued at one dollar. Uh, P.T. Barnum's Acrobats, Rarity Three, valued at six dollars. Probably the rarest of the lot. It plays kind of like Circus Atari. Uh, Alpine Skiing, a Rarity Two, valued at three dollars. And the funny thing is, all these titles have like an uh, exclamation point at the end of it. I, I don't know what's up with that, but. Uh, Out of This World and Helicopter Rescue. Rarity 2, valued at $3. A lot of these games are like multi cards, I guess. Math of Magic and Echo. Rarity 2, valued at $3. Blockout slash Breakdown. Rarity 1, valued at $2. Invaders from Hyperspace, Rarity 1, valued at $2. And Football, Rarity 1, valued at $2. Um, I also got Computer Golf, Rarity 2, valued at $3. Volleyball, Rarity 2, valued at $3. And, let's see. Nimble number, ne nimble numbers, Ned. Rarity two valued at three dollars. It's an educational game. Uh, showdown in two thousand. Uh, showdown in two thousand in twenty one hundred A.D. Uh, Rarity one valued at two dollars. And armored encounter sub chase. Rarity one valued at two dollars. And actually, I have two copies of that. I don't. There were two copies in the in the batch in the in the package that he gave me. So I have two copies of that. Um, so that's pretty much all I got. Uh, last but not least, I wanted to tell you guys, there's like some viral video out there of me dancing at work. If you go to uh, Target Worker Dances to Black Eyed Peas, just type that in over in, in the search field on YouTube. You'll probably see my video. Go check it out. Spread it to your friends. It's pretty goofy. I don't know why I'm dancing to Black Eyed Peas, my humps. It was, for, it was a stunt at work, but Check it out, it's got 200 hits so far. Anyway, thanks guys, and I'll be back for my June pickups um, uh, ASAP. Happy gaming.